What is happening? It is time for box break number five. Got some uh, AEW Dynamite going in the background, so we're going to get to this one here in just one moment as I prepare the link to shoot out on Twitter. All right, so so far, the hits have all fallen in the same row. So once I hit a relic or a hit in that row, I will set it aside and uh, save those for last. So this is the fifth box. The biggest hit so far. Uh, Clayton Kershaw rip card number to 99. Uh, a one of one plate of Trevor Hoffman. A mini frame relic of Fernando Tatis Jr. Did pull a box loader of uh, Luis Robert, so a rookie box loader. And this is going to. Oh man. So five boxes in two are the same Kershaw box loader. Boo on that. So here we go. First pack. Mojo. We've got Juan Soto. Eloy Jimenez. Okay. I think I'm going to come closer to the camera. So it looks like the top row once again is going to be the the uh, the uh, hits row. So I'm going to set that brewer in my trade pile. Brendan McKay. And skyscraper. Did clear off my, my stack. So if the pattern is uh, sustains here. These two are going to be the hit packs. So I'm just going to set those aside right there. Well, the Warren Kane, standard relic. Zuna Clemente, There's a Cub Chris Bryant. I've had some decent Cubs Cubs pulls. I pulled a Chris Bryant in 43 box loader. Um, Kyle Schwarber relic. It's an A and G back of Nelson Cruz. Pulled a couple uh, Black Border minis of Cubs, so pretty happy with that. Allen is one of those funny releases where, as soon as I rip it a box, it's like, oh man, that was not worth the one hundred and thirty dollars a box price. But then once you start selling the minis and you know some of the inserts. Um, it all adds up. So it's, it's kind of a, there's a funny product because there's definitely value. Um, and I hope to show you numbers wise, Bichette and Kyle Lewis have been falling back to back. I hope to show you the numbers, um, on how this product can add up and be worthwhile, even at the price point where it's currently at. I mean, I bought this at retail for uh, 1535 1535 And I actually, when I went and bought supplies today at the card shop, his price was 129 a box, which if I bought a case from him, I'm not sure. I haven't worked with him too much. Um, I basically just go to this card shop for supplies every once in a while. I've talked to him a few times. In fact, I actually sold him some cards on Sport Lots. Um when his address popped up, I Googled it and realized it was the car shop, um, and it was him. Um, but I could could have probably saved a little bit, and you know, also got it released. And that's you know, sometimes you can save, you know, a hundred bucks or two hundred bucks, 
but you've got to wait a week after release. And um, this is a product that I really want to get after the first couple nights. Um, I was really happy that this was delivered today on release day. Um, I think and that's typically been the case when I've ordered from Dave and Adams. Um, I think when I ordered from Blowout last time, it was not delivered until Friday. It was A and G, Aaron Judge, and Willie McCovey. Um, so then you're already behind a couple days. Um, so you're not get first on the market like some stuff i like to to throw a 24-hour auction especially you know like a dna relic or if it's a one of one like the trevor hoffman printing plate i thought about doing a buy it now but um something like that it's hard to price and i don't want to wait um i'd rather just you know let it go to a, an auction and you know 24 hours i think um on a product this new product is is the best way to go. Howie Kendrick, standard. It's a pretty cool card. Gary Carter, I love that card. That's a great image. Did pull a rip card in the last box of uh, Kershaw. Basically, what I do with rip cards is I have probably more often than not sold them unripped. Um, there is value in ripping them and a ripped card. I've actually bought a ripped rip card. Um, I paid $10 for a Javier Baez ripped rip card in, I think, 2018. Um, in fact, I think the last rip card that I ripped was Clayton Kershaw, and I sold, sold the ripped card for 10 or 12 bucks. Um, but I think the mini, the EXT mini I pulled was uh, Matt Olson, and I think it only sold for like 25 bucks. So, you know, I made, there's a Rizzo insert, I made, you know, $35, $40 gross. Um, probably could have sold it on risk for 75 A couple of Dodgers here, Betts and Muncie. So, uh, Chipper. Uh, so uh, what I did with the Kershaw that I just pulled, there's Kerry Wood. What I did with uh, the Kershaw that I just pulled is I put a buy it now for $100, which is pretty much what all of the rip cards are, are posted for sale on, on eBay currently. Um, so I put it for $100, and you know, this weekend, if it doesn't sell or if I don't get any good offers... Um, I will rip it at some point this weekend and I will do it on video here on the YouTube channel. Um, so probably maybe Sunday if it doesn't sell and would probably take, I don't want to show my hand here, but um, I'm not going to come off too far from that $100 price tag. Um, I would rather take the chance. I would rather sell it for um no less than you know $85 um, than to um, you know sell it for a low price and then there could be a you know but you know what I am not in that boat because I sell cheap cards on eBay and I do pretty well in moving dollar cards and two dollar cards find your niche and some people, Bill is one of them, does a freaking phenomenal job at stack sales on Twitter. And it can be done. Um, and it's, and like I always say, it's not for everybody. Um, my, my style of selling on eBay does not fit a lot of people because I have a lot of low dollar cards like thousands of them that you know i'm trying to list on a daily basis and other people may have found their niche in high dollar you know flipping graded cards um and there's you know a lot more money um can be made quicker in doing that but i've never graded a card and it's just not you know maybe someday i'll do that but at this time i'm i found my niche of 
selling dollar cards on eBay. And uh, so far, I am, I have the time and I'm seeing some success. Of course, this card market currently is crazy. My Piazza standard relic, and here's a skyscraper. All right, so we are down to what, six, one, two, three, four, five, six or seven packs left. Fisk and Posey. Pete Alonzo, I haven't looked at his stats. I haven't heard much about Pete Alonzo this year. He was super hot last year, and I don't know if he's hurt. Real Muto, just haven't heard much about him. I know Vlad Guerrero's been down this year, and I don't know if that's I, – I just – I haven't been following baseball that much this year. I was, for the most part, with my fantasy stuff. Um, I haven't even watched too many Cubs games. Larry Doby, and that's an A&G back. And we've got Platinum. So we're down to five packs. We've got the bottom row here. I'll share a story, but since we're getting down – to the end of this box. I'll wait until the sixth video. Flaherty. Flaherty was on my fancy team. Bring that up. Um, I want to tell a story about one, oh, another AG back, Jose Barrios. I want to tell a story about one of my, uh, probably my greatest hit. I have put a super frack. Um, my Allen and Ginter hit was by far, I probably, probably had two Allen and Ginter hits that were better than my, uh, super fractor pull because my super fractor pull was out of tops Chrome, not Bowman. So not as, and it's a player, it was a rookie, uh, but a player that has, I don't even know if he's in, I mean, he played some. Christian Arroyo um, was who I pulled uh, from the Giants, and he was traded to the Tampa Bay Rays. So he was a super fractor rookie that I pulled. There's Fergie. Um, but I pulled a couple of really nice hits in Allen and Ginter. Um, 2015 or 16, and then again in, uh, let's see, 2018. So I'll talk about that in the next video. But these are likely going to be – the hits um, we pulled, and why is that? Did I pull Lorenzo Kane? Yeah, I think Lorenzo Kane was the first hit, and then in that row was these two packs, and then this Tommy Listella printing plate came toward the bottom, just like in the Trevor Hoffman pack. Uh, the Trevor Hoffman printing plate came toward the bottom of the box, um, whereas the um, relic hits were towards the top. So go ahead and once again i'm going to um not look at the cards until they are on camera so i'm actually watching the video on my laptop as i pull these arenado um, nick senzel okay it feels like a frame oh nice it's an auto justine siegel mini framed auto so this has been a pretty good box. A mini framed auto and a framed printing plate. And Anthony Rizzo, mini. And one of those things, Crystal Barrel. So nice, we've got a mini framed auto. You know what, now that I look closer, I just, I caught it in the light and it looks like there's tracks. I don't know if you can see right in there. I can't really see it on camera, but it, like maybe a, a run. There we go. Now we've got focused. Can you tell? I can't really tell on the camera, but it looked like some marks from like a, a roller or something. Uh, I, just when the light hits it right, I, it's kind of hard to see. Anyway, let's keep it Okay, last pack, and this should also be a hit because it's going to be a four-hit box. George Springer, Aaron Nola, Sandy Koufax, Dakota Hudson, 
And we've got a, oh, nice. Poker player. That's a different piece of uh, fabric. Uh, Tony Dunst, professional poker player. And the, the non-baseball relics typically sell for a, no, I'm not, not going to say a, a lot more, but some do. Uh, I put the Johnny Bananas relic on eBay. I already have three offers. I haven't responded to any yet. Um, but more than <laughs> you would expect. Um, so this box yielded four hits, a Justine Siegel, mini framed auto, a standard white jersey swatch of Lorenzo Kane, the poker player Tony Dunst jersey relic or shirt relic, I guess, and another printing plate, Tommy LaStella, former Cub. So there we go. That was box number five. Going to break box number six in just a little while. I'm um, going to put some of these on eBay real quick. Um, so stay tuned. There will be a new video stream starting in, oh, 20 minutes or so.